My name is William Ellis. I am one half of VideoFag. I run this space with my partner Jordan. Um, I, we've been here for uh, just over a year. We've just had our one year anniversary. Um, I came into this whole uh, process primarily with um, interest in performing and acting in film, um, but uh, VideoFag certainly world opened up a world of of other sort of mediums of and art forms, um, like visual art and theater, and I got to be exposed to a lot of different um, artists and communities and um, interesting people. Um, so yeah, it's been a really, really incredible year uh, in this space, um, and a lot of crazy things have happened. And, uh, it's been pretty, pretty exciting and pretty. What was wild. the craziest? Oh God, when we first started, I. I don't know, maybe Ben's heard this story already, but when uh, one of our first shows, our downstairs neighbor came up and uh, it was at the end of the show, it was about 10.30, and she tried to unplug the um, <laughs> the speakers, because they were sort of fed up with, with the night and um, the loud music, and, and we were, it was honestly, it was, really, it was quite early, it was only 10.30 and we were trying to wrap it up. And Is it the same neighbors with the dogs? Yeah, it's, they still live there, yeah, yeah, totally. And, um, so she came up and she tried to unplug it and she was also with her husband and they had two friends with them so there were four of them and she couldn't get it unplugged and she just sort of lay down on the floor and had I guess like a like an anxiety attack or yes. or like a, almost like a hazy fit oh my god I know and it was it was pretty insane I and love it yeah we had <gasps> all these like members of you know the Toronto art community just sort of standing back not really knowing what to do or how to handle the situation. Um, so that was really a really crazy experience. Uh, we called 911, the ambulance came and, and assessed her and said that she was fine um, outside of being really, really upset. And um, yeah, they took her away. Have you guys since made up? Yeah, so we, since then we've, um, they sent us a letter. It was sort of like a request to end our events early which was totally, fair totally fair. Yeah. Um, so after that, all of our events end at 10 p.m., um, which is, it's, it's good for us because we, we, um, we can go to bed. We can go to bed, we can, <laughs> you know, have some tea, check our emails, go to bed um, at a decent hour. And plus we're doing so many events, you know. Like, you guys are fully booked. Yeah, like four or five days a week we're doing events, so to be done early each night is, is pretty good. Um, and yeah, we have a pretty good relationship with them now. Pretty, we sort of both have made compromises. So you guys have a pretty easy weekend with me in here. Right? Yeah, this can just close at six, and that's so, it. It's so nice. It's like, <laughs> it's like so you know hands off for us. It's, it's really great. And no, when you posted your your schedule from November, I was oh, yeah. like, Jesus, mother of God, I Will, I had no idea. Yeah, we don't we don't have days off. We just have we have maybe you know a few hours off, or we'll have dinner. And, Where are you from originally? I'm, uh, originally I'm from um, Prince Edward Island, uh, Summerside, Prince Edward Island. I, my family all live there, my brothers and sisters, and I moved to Toronto uh, in 2007, so I've been here for, I guess, Oh god, 2007, years. six years? Yeah, six years ago, almost From New Brunswick originally. Are you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Minto. Oh, wow. Yeah, just oh. outside of Fredericton. Yeah, yeah. Middle and Chipman. I grew up in Minto until I was seven. We moved to Chipman. I oh, stayed wow. there until middle of grade eleven. What was oh. your first neighborhood, Will? Oh, I grew up in a small town. It wasn't really a neighborhood. It was just sort of a collection of houses. It was about ten houses. Um, it's called Conway, and it's a little sort of a village in PEI. Oh, cool. Yeah, and it was it was pretty nice, pretty quiet. There were about you know maybe ten families. I've always wanted to go to Prince Edward Island, actually. Yeah. I'm always meaning to go there. I'm yeah, really curious. it's very beautiful. Yeah, I bet it is. It's kind of funny because a lot of families will sort of stick together in the way they build their houses. So okay. like, we live next to my mom's sister, and we live next to my mom's brother and her father. So the village was sort of our family almost. How many in your family? Uh, Sibling-wise, I have um, seven brothers and sisters. I've, I'm the second oldest. What? And, Catholic? Uh, no. No. Crazy. I had no idea. But no, we're not Catholic. We just, uh, both my parents remarried and had more kids. Oh, okay. So, yeah. We 
which I guess is pretty common these days. But, um, yeah, my sister's visiting. She's she's 18. She's um, staying with us. So that's yeah. pretty exciting. Yeah. And yeah, and outside of the art world, I work. I do social work type stuff. I work with federal offenders getting out of prison, reintegrating back into the community, um, and I also work uh, at a, a housing nonprofit housing organization. So it's it's pretty busy. You having fun here? Yeah, it's, yeah. The video fag's been a lot of fun. It's been challenging and, and fun. And, um, yeah, it's incredible to always have people sort of in your house and in your space, and mm -hmm. it sort of redefined what personal space is for us. Like, we, you know, the fo I don't feel like I need to have you know privacy in, in a way that I used to. And yeah, you're doing good work. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's, likewise. Thank you. Cheers.